and welcome back to another Beyond the Escape. I'm Mike Blachik, and today I'm here to show you how to make a battle map for a ship in the Spelljammer RPG setting. What we have set up is I have uh, Photoshop, uh, the latest CC version. Um, I've taken one of the maps from inside the Spelljammer box set and I've removed the text so we're stuck with just the the spell the ship parts um, so I guess we don't really need the layout down there but I can deal with that later alright so what I want to do is I want to dress this up and make it look cool as a battle map for a virtual tabletop so the first thing I'm going to do is we have this as a separate layer already and I'm going to select see I'm going to there you go make it uh, I don't even I've never actually said that contiguous so that way it's just getting the outer areas so I'll delete that and now we have some uh, some selections that are the inside or the uh, usable parts of our ship now that I have that I'll go up to select inverse and now we've just selected the two interior parts that I want to put a floor on so I'll go over here and this is just to get an idea of what it's going to look like I'm going to select my paintbrush pick a color and oh it's helpful if I create a new layer put that underneath the other one turn the top one oh it was already set to multiply and then oh there I go again always make sure you're on the right layer and there finally so you get that one painted up and that one painted up alright I can unselect now so I'm going to name this layer floors and from there let's let's add a texture so we'll go to pattern overlay uh, we don't want grass and I have a wood texture that I imported a while back. I think I got it from uh, freetextures.com. Uh, if I, when I'm done with this, I'll look it up and I'll put a link in the in the comments. All right, so we'll make it look like wooden planks there. Already, it's starting to look like an okay battle map. So the next thing is, is let's let's give this thing some shadows. So what we'll do, actually, let's close this out, and we will turn contiguous off. And we'll see if we can get. There we go. No, I don't think. What I want to do is I want to put some drop shadows on here so that way it gives it some depth. But I'm realizing that it's going to catch all these grids and everything as well. So we'll have to figure out a different way to do it. What I will probably do is. No, oh, it looks like I missed a little bit down on the end here so I'll just shrink it down and do that all right so we have the floors done let's make another layer and we will make this the let's name it outer hull go back to my select tool and see if I can get J 
actually goes to these sections. Uh, I don't know what color the player's ship is yet, because we have yet to meet up. Um, but they're a pretty clever crew, so I'm going to say they're probably going to do something dark so it hides, hides in the background a bit. So, let's paint that. That's almost too dark. Let's go a little bit brighter so that way it stands out on the map. Oh, here I am again on the wrong layer. It happens all too often. There we go. Now it looks too bright. So we'll bring it down. Go back to my magic wand. Switch up. I need to name this ship layer. Ship layer. Let's see if we can add a couple more sections. Maybe we'll just paint it all at once. Alright, switch back to the outer hull, brush, and paint. So we'll switch back. Let's do something cool with the eyes of our ship here. Back. Let's make them yellow. And I wonder if we could do a like a bevel. Uh, we don't want a hard chisel. There we go. Just doing that it just gives it some depth all right let's do a little bit along these outer edges here and I think I could do a most with this selection tool so if I do that line it up switch to my brush oh probably don't want it to be yellow switch back to the selection tool so that way I can just drag this down here I'm assuming on this tutorial that you guys have worked in Photoshop before otherwise uh, it might not make as much sense and if not I'm sure there are way better people than me giving some tutorials on how to do that we will here do that and then I'm just going to come to a small brush so that way we can touch up some of these areas that were missed It'd be a lot easier if I had my art tablet with me, but all right, so there you go. So we have the top of the ship looking pretty nice already. isn't going to be as polished as some of the maps that I make uh, since this is just a, a one-off game but I still want it to look cool while we're playing so next is I know that they have a uh, they don't have a catapult here so we'll switch the ship, hit E to switch to the racer, and I'll erase out that catapult. And you know while I'm doing this, I'm just going to erase the numbers. 
I'm not really a fan of that for battle maps. And now for the interior, uh, I use roll 20. So what I would do is instead of putting furniture and everything on this in the map in Photoshop, I would wait until I got to uh, roll 20 and put in the, the items there. So that way we could uh, destroy them or move them around if they did that in battles. All right, so I'm going to bring this ballista. Oh, wow, it's bigger than the ship. In, uh, I found this in the Dungeony map collection and we will put that right there and we'll move it so that way it's facing forward even though this thing is their ship they have it on a turret so that way they can go in all directions. They also... So what I've done is I've actually taken a Spelljammer universe and I've converted it over to my role-playing system, uh, Sagaborn, uh, which I've named Starborn. And I've done a couple things to try to make it a little bit more interesting. Spelljammer uh, was very tactical. But that also meant that normally the players are sitting around doing nothing while a helmsman was flying the ship and they were just really sitting around twiddling their thumbs. So one of the things I added in mind was that light ballista, which already uh, can't fire and hurt ships, I made it so that way every 15 foot of ship space you can actually put a light ballista on now it can't move it can only shoot off the side but then all of a sudden that gives players who aren't flying the ship or manning the large ballista something to do there so what I'm doing here is I'm just I just shrunk the other one down I'm duplicating it and then what I'll do is I'll actually take both of these Duplicate those, has it copied, and I'll go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. And while I have them both selected, move them down, line them up with the other ones, and there you go. So we're looking in just a few minutes. Uh, I have the top deck of the ship ready to go. Uh, because I, I am probably just a little bit too focused on making everything cool. I think I'm going to do another layer. And yeah, I know I could name it when I pull it up, but I always forget to. I'm just going to name this. Well, I said wings, but let's name it sails. And we'll move that below the floor because that will make it easier. And let's see. These would be like a translucent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use my pen tool to just come along and make a quick mapping. I'll make it easier for me to select and paint this area. And so now I go over to Paths, select that, I select that area, go back to there, I'm on Sales, grab my brush, I'm going to do it at like 43%, make the brush as big as you want. And I think that'll show up nicely whenever we actually have something below it and then just to give it that bit of a punch I've gone with a lighter shade and this is also going to make it more opaque 
and I'm just running this right along the edges. Alright, deselect that. And actually we could do N, let's make space and just pretend that there's space below it. And now I guess we'll have the reveal to see what this looks like. Do it dark, autofill. That is not as cool as I hoped it would be. I'm going to. Oh, I don't want to erase on that layer. Always on the wrong layer. I'm just going to go along and just sort of erase that. All right. And on this one, I'm going to also duplicate layer. And then I'm going to edit, transform and flip vertical and then just like that we have wings for the bottom as well all right so very quickly we've gotten a top level of a ship and I'll be back in just a moment to show you how to do the bottom of the ship all right and we are back. So next what I want to do is I want to come down to this the lower level of the ship and I want to make it a little bit more interesting and I think let's see if this works I have an idea of trying to cut out the walls and giving it a outer glow of a shadow so that way it has um, uh, some shadow and some depth on the inside so what I'm going to try to do is I have the magic wand tool I'm going to select that oh, so far so good and I'm going to hit control or hit shift just try to get all these areas oh, look at that alright so we want to go now I'm going to do control C control V it looks like you got it right yep that's strange that the paste is when I paste it, it's way lighter so I'm gonna go up to image adjustments and we will do hue saturation and then just move the lightness down so it's pitch black all right so now that we have that done um, so we'll say uh, lower level walls is what we'll name that. Uh, I'm going to go back to my ship. I'm going to select this inner area and since you can't go out on that area I'm going to copy the same color as uh, the lighting up here. So what I'll do is I will turn off bevel and emboss that way I can hit brush get the right color and then I'll go down to outer hull. It'd probably be better to make these on as two separate files so that way I don't get all the layers all mixed up later on. But this is just making it easier right now. Alright, so then we'll turn on Bevel and Boss again. We got both of those looking good and so now let's see if my plan works we go to lower level walls we can go to effects and we don't do drop shadow we do outer glow even though it seems like it wouldn't make sense um, looks like I've already been doing stuff that was dark and we'll just give it some shadow there I don't know how much shadow we want. Definitely don't want any noise. We don't want a lot of spread either. Alright, so the only thing about that is now it's making everything look dirty. So what if we did... We 
do a color overlay of our purple. No, that looks too gaudy. So no color A, no color overlay. How about a pattern? Well, maybe if we made it almost invisible. I wonder, let's play around a little bit more. All right, so we will make that exactly full op opacity. We will go and make that darker. Now, if it wasn't so dirty, it'd be a lot neater looking. So I think we might have to just go with the dark walls and then we'll make the outer shadows just not quite so dark all right so now have that done and the one last thing I want to do before we called this call it quits so I want to see this mixer brush tool it's not as nice. I use uh, when I'm doing my artwork, I do Corel Painter, and it does a much better job of blending blending out uh, colors together. So we want, sh we want the sails. Oh, sails are all the way at the bottom. So let's see. Yeah, see, I don't even know what that's doing there. That's awful. How is that mixing it? It doesn't look like it's mixing it at all. All right, so we'll just get rid of that. That just might have to be the way that these look. Maybe we can try the smudge tool. I think this will work. Um, no. Oh, well, at least breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, so that smudge tool does something. It's still not in Corel Painter. You could come in with a wet media brush and you could literally mix these together just like you could oil paints or wet acrylic. Unlike this, where I just feel like it's just like frustrating. But. That's still a much cooler effect than than this, so oh, we gotta switch over to sales copy. this to make my player's ship look cooler than just a black and white image. Alright, well, it's not perfect, it's not totally polished, but I would say that that is pretty cool for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes worth of work. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, if if you like the tutorial, uh, hit the subscribe button. Check out Sagaborn.com and see the Sagaborn system. And tune in next time. Thanks, and have a good one.